Hey everyone, and welcome to the special cooking hangout, Champion for Kids, in support of Champion for Kids, uh, Razor Fest. I'm your host, Larry Fenelier. Uh, this is a special hangout on air. We're going to have Aslin Bloor, who is in the UK. Everybody loves Aslin. She'll be cooking up some Szechuan chicken, and we will be introducing everyone here in the ha in the hangout or in the peanut gallery, as I like to call it, as we all like to call it here, right, guys? <laughs> yep. Cheers, Peter. Um, this this hangout is in um, support of, like I said, the Razor Fest Champion for Kids, which is uh, being supported by brands like Unilever, Kellogg, uh, I believe Tyson. Foods of Tyson Chicken, who will be possibly stopping in. Uh, Jim Shankel is the one who's organizing this down in um, in uh, Arkansas, Razorback Stadium, and we all know that's why I'm wearing my red today, guys. Razorbacks, <laughs> even though I don't play a lick of football. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's all it's all in good fun and it's all for kids. So that's that's the bottom line. Um, so. Uh, let's get started. Let me start to introduce the, the folks here in the peanut gallery. Starting on my left, which would be you guys right, we have Andrew M, who is new to the Hangout, but he is not new to Google+. He's like the original beta testing guy. He and I met in a Hangout way back when. Andrew, how are you doing, sir? Andrew's muted. <laughs> Andrew's muted. <laughs> Can you guys hear me right. now? There we go. Yeah, Hello, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he has he has this deep dog. He has this deep voice. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Andrew. The women love that. Hello, Hello everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Andrew, tell us a little bit about you, where you're from, and all that. You well, know I am about. from Toronto, Canada. Um, I'm familiar with a lot of Caribbean cooking, so this will be an interesting experience for me to see that this afternoon. Good. Uh, we won't be doing Caribbean, though. We'll be doing um, Chinese. That's what yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing. Right. So, so yeah, and Andrew is also a, a, a Caribbean guy. He His parents are Jamaican. Father Jamaican, mother is Barbadian, so we are all family. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to Aslan just yet. I will go to another new person we have in the in the hangout, which is Conjure Up AJ. She is very new to Google Plus, like maybe a month, and she does some amazing food down in Australia. Also, some spices. She puts together some really really interesting spices. You're going to be hearing and seeing more of that in the coming months. But uh, let me introduce you to Conjure Up AJ. Hi, Hi AJ. Everyone. Hi there. Welcome, welcome. I know it's, uh, what time is it there tomorrow? Uh, the time <laughs> tomorrow would be about 3 a.m. Okay, on a Sunday. All right. 3 a.m. <laughs> on a Sunday. We, we have a real international flavor going on here. We have Canada, we have Australia, we have UK, we have United States, and of course Trinidad and Tobago. Conjure. Look, in, in, in Australia, Larry, the bottom line is we're out of step with the rest of the world. So it's always going to be 3 o'clock in the morning or something like that when it's a, a, a normal time for everyone else. But that's okay. Yeah. It's great. Good, good. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And next to uh, conjure up, AJ, is George Cohn, my good friend from Silicon Valley, Valley Mountain View, California. Hey, George. Hey, Larry. Good to see uh, you, buddy. Hello, everyone, and I want to wish everybody except AJ a happy Catter Day. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> oh, George. Uh, good one, good one, George. <laughs> All right, and next to George, we have Maggie Unzueta. Everybody Hello. knows Maggie, I'm sure. Great foodie. Yeah. San Diego. And we, we're doing some really exciting things together. We'll be doing a bilingual series of food stories coming up. Soon. Yes. Maggie, welcome. Yes, hello everyone. Hola, bienvenido. <laughs> Hola. Hola. <laughs> Next to Maggie, of course, is Marilyn Ritter, George's Good. partner and a great friend of mine. Marilyn, welcome. Oh, thank you. And, you know, by the way, every day is Catterday here at our house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, they, they got these huge, <laughs> these two huge cats. I mean, these things look like yeah, Marlin. What 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 breed are they again? They're they're savannah cats. They're part oh. Aboriginal and part uh, domestic cat. So they're, oh, they're stripes and spots, and they're mm. awesome. They're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you can have to do with pictures. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so so before we jump into Aslan, I just want to say a couple shout outs to some of our friends out in in Eventland who's who's watching. Uh Carmen Mandich, uh Kim I oh, forgot Kim's last Boltman. name. Kim Boltman. 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 Yeah. Thank you, just thank you, thank you. Kim, don't don't Can don't kill me. Kim, please don't. <laughs> yeah, Cam, they 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 have their they have their drinks in hand, they have their margaritas. So <laughs> cheers up. Uh, what, what's everybody drinking by the way? I have my water here because it's kind of hot here in Trinidad. And I know it's 2 a.m. in Australia, so you're probably having coffee. Uh, I've, I've had coffee. Yeah. All right. And, and, and I think everybody else is having water or something. Yeah. So. Well, I'm here with Canada's favorite, so I'm, I'm drinking coffee as well this morning, too. <laughs> okay, great. So we're going to go right now to the lady of the hour, Aslan Blow. What are you having, Aslan? Well, I am going to be having the margarita that I am going to be making. All right. So I guess the, the folks in the are going to love it. You, you thought you were coming for a Chinese cooking show? <laughs> 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 you know, I for nothing here. Hi, everyone. Uh, um, I'm Aslin Glow from livingsfood.com, or the Foodies Plus community, as you guys know. So... We are, we're supposed to be cooking Sichuan chicken, don't you fear, we will still be doing that. But since Carmen, Kim and I decided to have margarita today, margarita it is going to be, shall I make it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, uh, yeah. No. When, I, when I go like that, you might want to mute me. Oh, no. <laughs> Just warned you, because we do have a big old yeti here. Oh, Two yeah. shots of tequila. That's my kind of measurement. <laughs> Very one, shot, one shot of Quantro and another the, one. The folks who just joined, the, the folks who just joined us, don't panic. Aslan is going to do the chicken. You you haven't missed the thing. She's just doing the the margarita for um oh, for Kim. Anyway. <laughs> for Kim and Carmen. Always in favor. One portion of lime juice. So, tequila, mm. Cointreau, lime juice. Oh, man, I've always wanted to do this life. <laughs> oh, you really have your stuff. <laughs> and some sugar syrup because I like it sweet. And nice. then some ice cubes. Oh, um, um, Carmen is saying spices, sweet, and sexy. That chicken looks great, and the team has flair. <laughs> what more could we ask for? <laughs> I guess, I guess she's, for a minute. <laughs> she's looking at the chicken in the, um, the event. I think we can ask for an extra shot of tequila. you got to touch it up in the air. And, uh... <laughs> like bar tricks. That's what you got to do, like flip it over your shoulder. Exactly, Andrew. <laughs> Some salt. Arriba. <laughs> Arriba. Uh, Kim says, shake that margarita, Aslan. I love your recipe, by the way. The drink and the chicken. Yum. <laughs> yeah. What's so better with, with Chinese food than a Mexican margarita? Cheers. 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 International flavor. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Shall we get cooking? Yes, we shall. I think you already are cooking there, Aslan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sure I am, Buona. Um, right. Okay, Sichuan chicken. Um, you guys, Sichuan, Sichuan cuisine is um, slightly more, um, compared to the rest of Chinese cuisine, um, Sichuan is a little bit um, spicy, a little bit more flavorful. Um, pungent, tangy, compared to um, the rest of Chinese cuisine, you know, which, which uh, perhaps some people can, can say is a little bit on the bland side because all you have is sort of um, ginger, garlic, and that's about it. But with um, Sichuan cuisine, you use chilies, you use fermented soybeans, 
Um, all those strong flavors. So we're going to be making Sichuan chicken today. Anybody been to China? Anybody? No. 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 Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not so yet. Sichuan chicken. What we have is I'm just going to go through all the ingredients as I usually do. Mm -hmm. Chicken. I like to use drumsticks. Drumsticks for this, um, but you really can use any chicken portions you fancy. Um, chicken breast will, will will quick that much. Will cook that much quicker. So we've got chicken. We've got the main ingredient in this Sichuan chicken is the hot bean sauce. It is essentially fermented soybeans with chili added. Um, that is very important. Go to any oriental store, any any Chinese shop, and they are bound to stock this. Um, we've got that. We've got garlic, ginger, some vegetables to go in um, in the form of um, capsicum. If you want to stick to the red color, just use half a red. If you want some color added, um, yellow and um, green. And just to make it even spicier, some chili. Hey, Shall we go for the shall we go for the Thai chilies or shall we go for the Scotch bonnet today? Scotch bonnet, Scotch bonnet. Spice it up, baby. Spice it up. Scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet. Spice it up. So, and besides, besides that, we've got a little bit of um Chinese rice wine, some sesame oil, and um some Sichuan pepper. Mm. Sichuan pepper. Oh, that is gonna be spicy. That is spicy. Very spicy. Sichuan peppers are those red um sort of flower flowery. They're they're actually little flowers. Um, I don't, shall I bring that forward? Yeah, yeah, show it to us. Yeah. Can you guys can see that? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, if okay. I put it, if I put it on a, if you put it on a white plate, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So these, these, um, citron peppers actually, um. It's called the um, tongue numbing peppers because they will actually literally numb your tongue um, and, really? and your, the inside of your mouth. The trick, the trick to that not happening is basically to pound them. So we need some Sichuan peppers in this um, dish. After all, it is Sichuan chicken, and this is how you pound them. You put them. I dropped that a couple of weeks ago. I haven't replaced it yet. In case you're wondering why it's a little stunted, a bit of salt. <laughs> And uh, there you go. So when you crush the Sichuan peppers, it adds taste, it adds zing, but it doesn't numb your tongue when you eat it. Ah, Just slight, good oh, tip. Slight that's very good, very good tip. Okay. Very so good that's, tip. that's what we're going to do. Now the chicken's been marinated, well, not quite marinated, but it's been sitting there for about 20, 30 minutes with, a little, with some egg white, beaten egg white, a slightly beaten egg white, and um, some corn flour. We're going to start off now with um, just browning the chicken. Oh, I, I, I have a question. I have a question for you. Yeah. From Kim. Is yeah. Aslan Bo's middle name spicy? <laughs> sexy. Sweet, sexy, and spicy. That's my middle name. Ah, my three middle it. names, I should have said. Well, my uh, kids have got three middle names, so. Oh, Com Comet also says she has been to China, Beijing, cool. and Shanghai. Cool. So she's going to be watching you like a hawk. <laughs> Krishna, too. Krishna Day or D. Krishna oh, Day. Krishna, yeah. Krishna Day. Yeah. He's in Ireland. Now, I, I am making a sacrifice by doing this at this hour, by the way, because my football team, that soccer to you heathens, are actually playing right now, and it's a very important game. So this is a huge sacrifice, Larry. <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate the sacrifice. <laughs> you it's all in the name of good food. It's all in the name of good food. Like <laughs> yes. Okay, so we, we, we've, we've got, we've got um, the wok on. You can use a wok, you can use a frying pan, or you guys call that skillets, do you? Over the other side of the pond? Yeah, frying pan, yeah, whatever. Yes. Yeah. 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 So um, just heat it on, on medium. Medium to medium high heat, a little bit of um, vegetable oil. What are oh, we going to do? Your, your boy Brandon Lee just dropped in and he says hi. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon. Brandon's got. Brandon, what have you got, Brandon? Scottish grandparents, Korean grandparents, and all sorts of things. 
So um, Chinese as well with a name like Brandon Lee. Okay, yeah. now that it's hot, we're going to um, we're going to brown the chicken. We just do four. Mm -hmm. Now, how long you've had? Uh, I have a question, Asla. Yeah. How long have you had the um, chicken pieces marinating? 20, 30 minutes. They don't need to sit in there for too long because it's not okay. it's not um, flavor that they're getting on. It's just texture because really it's just egg white and corn flour in there. So um, we're not. Okay. It's not the flavor that we're bothered about. If it was the flavor, then we'd be marinating usually for about 30, 30 minutes or so. So we're just gonna let them. Um, Brown, he said. And I just got some word from uh, Ronnie Bencer. He said that Jim Shankle might be able to join us. Uh, earlier on, Jim was having some technical issues at the stadium, uh, Wi-Fi uh, connectivity issues. But uh, I'm just getting messages coming in. Ah, he wants to come in now. Great. Who does? Uh, Jim Jim Shankle. Oh, so okay. let me yeah. Let me let me in, invite Jim. I'm um, fluttering and fluttering a little bit here, though. So feel free to what? mute me if it's too noisy. No, no, no. We want to hear the sizzle. We want to hear the sizzle. Oh. <laughs> stop, stop fluttering at me. <laughs> right, yo. I'm just cutting up uh, some garlic and some ginger. Ginger into long strips. Because it's always nice to have long strips in ginger, uh, in Chinese food, long strips of um, ginger. Okay. Hey, uh, Aslan, hold on for the one second. Jim is in the house. <laughs> hey, Larry. How hey, Jim. Hey. Out here. Hey, how hey, Jim. How are you doing? Hey. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hey, I can't really hear. I guess that was that Aslan. Yeah, Aslan is in the house. Andrew M. Conjure up AJ. We have Australia. We have Canada. We have Mountain View, California. We have San Diego, California, and we have Trinidad and Tobago. And of course, London is where we are doing the cooking. <laughs> I tell you what, it's remarkable how these hangouts on airs work, and especially with this remote uh, mobile hangout on air we're doing here from Northwest Arkansas. So great to have you join us. I, it's a pleasure to have you join us. I uh, just got a word from Ronnie Vincer that uh, you, you could join us. And I said, whoa, let me bring you in one time. So, Jim, okay. glad to have you. Who is the lovely young lady you have there with you? Oh, isn't that so sweet? My name is Sue Havens. This is Sue Havens. She's oh. an old friend of my wife's and me, and uh, she's a big supporter of Champions for Kids, has been for years. Absolutely. Ad Adelaide convinced me about seven years ago that I should see what she was doing, and at that time it was very small. But we have been with her from when we had a few people with just a helping in the booth with just a little, and now we have about ten volunteers that want to come back every year. I love seeing the way she grows organizations. She expands their volunteer base. She keys them in and teaches them how to market, and so day by day we have more and more people helping more and more children, and that's where my heart is. I love to come here and serve others and spend all year long serving kids. It makes my heart happy to see this grow every single year so we know the good Lord is blessing it. Very that much. is so absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, so I, we'll kick it back over to you guys and tell us what y'all want to do now. Okay, Jim, um, great for having you join us. It, it's, a, it's a great cause. I mean, this this thing has grown from, like you said, 10 years ago to now filling up a, a stadium in, in Arkansas, raising up back to yeah. the stadium. That is absolutely fantastic. And I am honored and privileged to be part of this whole experience, which is which is great. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, no, no problem. Well, and that's the interesting thing, Larry, is that uh, what we've got here is an interesting event in Northwest Arkansas with a lot of the suppliers. Uh, the sponsors of Razor Fest are all, you know, many, many of the uh, the suppliers to Walmart. Uh, and Tyson is here. Big, big e event that's going on. Lots and lots of people. Crazy to be able to find bandwidth. But the interesting thing is to be able to connect in with you guys, to be able to be aware of this. So we take it way beyond Northwest Arkansas, out to, in, in, absolutely around the world. Globally. 
Yeah, well, Australia. We 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 are we are the world. We are the world. We are the world. We're taking care of those kids today. Yeah. Absolutely. They have kids and kids need help all over the world. So that's let's, true. Let's all work together that's to make true. that happen. Great job, Jim Duke. Great job. Thank you for popping in. Okay, and we're going back to the we're going back to the kitchen. <laughs> Take care, Jim. Go back to cooking. Go back to the kitchen too. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank bye. you so much. You're welcome. Ronnie, so you want me to just hold to here those. for a second? <laughs> okay. All right, Good. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Yeah. We're getting a few okay. questions coming in with regards okay. to the. Uh, I, I, I put a lid on there because I couldn't hear what Jim was saying. There's obviously. There's. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah, just oh, wait, wait. We're just, we're just in browning the chicken, and we're just gonna. Uh -huh. Do you want me to go ahead and hang up here? <laughs> <laughs> let me, uh, let me meet him. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, then go ahead, my dear. Yeah, it's all right. You, you, so okay. just give us a little recap. Let's give us a little recap of what you did. Yeah, so we've just been browning the chicken ever so slightly on, on sort of medium medium to high heat, not too high because we don't want the outside to um, burn. And this is a little bit too hot, so I'm just going to cool it down slightly. Um, so you brown the chicken and you take it, take it, um, just put it aside on a plate. Now we're just going to saute the garlic and ginger. Okay? Whew. Okay. All right. I believe Michelle had some questions as well with regards to the, uh, what's the reason for the egg white and the corn flour? And That's what just does to add it... a little bit of texture to the chicken. Um, a, lot of, a lot of Chinese cooking uh, marinates meat and fish and for, uh, seafood in a corn flour mix to add texture. So when you pre-fry, when, when you brown the stuff, um, you have a slight crunch on there. So now we're just sauteing the um, ginger and garlic. Ideally, the pan shouldn't be as hot as it got here because we were waiting for Jim to talk, finish talking. So, uh, so we're just sauteing the onion and garlic and um, in goes back in. So really, you know, technically if you were lazy, you could just leave the chicken in there and add the onion and garlic. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I love so that sizzle. I love that sizzle. Coat it. We're just going to coat it. And um, here comes the hot part. That's the... Oh, Asden, you have a question. Is there a substitute, a That's suitable a substitute for soy sauce? Substitute for soy sauce will be salt. Okay. Oh, I bet that's and, not and, and will, right will, now. Will tamarind, will tamarind work? Not really, because tamarind is sour. Tamarind is your substitute for lime. Tamarind is a substitute for lime, not soy sauce. Okay, great. So we've got some water in there. And we're just going to let this all this cook now. So yeah. these, these drumsticks are quite thick. So they'll take about 30 minutes or so to cook. Uh, if you're using chicken breast after the initial browning, it should only take about 15 to 20 minutes for the young chicken breast. Now this recipe also works for fish, for prawns. For fish, you want to really coat it or even deep fry slices of fish, uh, fish fillets. That'll be really, really nice in this dish. So in comes the rest of the ingredients and soy sauce. Supposed to be rice wine, but that's my tequila that just went in. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> more tequila, know, more eh? tequila. Where's my rice wine drawn? Ah. It's somewhere here. Come on, come on, wherever you are. It's, it's, ah. it's, it's next, right, it's right there, yeah. There you go. Oh, wait, tequila, Sichuan chicken, even better. <laughs> and our Sichuan pepper. And, and, uh, Annabelle Howard is in the house, Connecticut. Hey, Annabelle. Hi, Annabelle. Okay. Here um, Aslan, which is the best soy sauce, soy sauce to use from Carmen? Um, well, I use this brand called, are we allowed to say the brand? <laughs> I use this brand yeah, called... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. This is what I grew up um, with in Singapore, and um, that's what I still use. And it's my that's kids' favorite as well. So, yeah. we can find it here, San Diego. So, we're just going to lower that, that um, the heat down. We're going to put the, the capsicum in. 
I'm using um, yellow and, and, and green just for added color. And we're just going to put the lid on and we're going to just cover it to cook. That's it. That's all there is. Um, wow. And we set scotch bonnet, so we're going to add some scotch bonnet in there now. I, 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 didn't, want to fry, I didn't want to fry the scotch bonnet with the, um, with the um, garlic and ginger because um, it, it really burns. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So we just we are not bothered about the slice because we just we're just doing it for um for its heat. So thick slices, thin slices doesn't really matter. Aslan, Aslan, I'm very proud of you. You're not wearing your gloves today. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch a scotch bonnet with my bare hands. Oh. Oh oh, you can't can't but I can't touch chili with my bare hands. Just doesn't. I, I don't even clean the house with my bare hands. Is that the? Wait a minute! I don't clean the house. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the butler doesn't do it for you? <laughs> yeah, over here, yes, we do. We do have. We do, we do have. Oh, in Singapore and Malaysia. See, we grew up with maize. In Singapore and Malaysia, most families have live in maids and you know so they cook they clean sort of the old the old um, fashioned way and um, that's what we're so many of us are used to and then you go abroad and you gotta clean for yourself oh my god it's a shock to the system <laughs> a, a shock I haven't got over yet so these days guess how my kids earn their pocket money Cleaning. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what we do. I'm just gonna open up the window for some fresh air. Cheap, cheap child labor, huh? There you go. Mm. Absolutely. And, they got this, you, you remember, remember, this this show is in support of kids. Oh, <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> And and after you finish this, Aslan, I guess the maid will come and clean up, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the maid. Oh, the kids, the kids the, the will come and clean up. Six-year-old maid. <laughs> when, my, when, my kids, when my kids were younger, we used to have a cleaner come in twice a week um, to clean seriously. But now that my kids are older, they need to learn the facts of life. Not 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 those facts of life. The cleaning right. facts of life. That's it. Yeah. That's well, that's they learn their pocket money. No, they love it. Uh, no, you know, they love it. I mean, it's like I asked my daughter. I said, "Do you want to go go over, over the house and um, mop the kitchen floors?" Yes, yes, yes. Because they just love the idea of pushing the Hoover around. So you know. Okay. That's, you, you've trained them well. Uh, Kim Boltman says, "If you cook, I'll clean." That really sounds like a good plan. So, so what, have you guys, what have you guys got going for this weekend then? Anybody got exciting plans coming up? Yeah. I think oh, yeah. Uh, let's, let's talk about if anybody has anything coming up. Oh, good, good, good segue there, uh, Aslan. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sweet, so, spicy, sexy, and clever. <laughs> so, George, you have anything coming up? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, um, a, a friend of ours, you know Kave, he's... Um, He's yeah. doing a house concert in Monterey this afternoon, this evening. We're going to so drive down know. there and um, and uh, check it out. Oh, nice, nice. Andrew, what do you have going up there in Canada? You're just going to geek away at the computer? He's, he's muted, muted again. All my clean and board is here. <laughs> we want to hear your voice, Andrew. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, oh, Andrew, what, to, Andrew, what, Andrew, what Andrew, are you wait, doing wait, this weekend? Wait, Andrew, before you start telling us, say something sexy. <laughs> say something sexy. Oh, <laughs> no, that feels sexy. Put it in the guy on the spot, Aslan. That was not. It was a stupid voice. <laughs> uh, but I what's going on right I, now? 
Mm -hmm. um, I'm not much for me because I'm actually taking some time off. I'm going to go to Jamaica for two and a half weeks, and I may stay a little bit longer. I'm going for a friend's wedding, and then I'm going to take some time to relax. Good. Fantastic. Good. Good spot. Good spot. Conjure. Yeah. What are you doing after the show? Well, Leave me. I'm, I'm, I'm going straight back to bed for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm hoping to get a couple of hours sleep. And then I'm uh, Conjure Up's actually doing a, a, a joint venture with another company, and we're doing an organic vegetable garden. So we're getting that underway. We've, we've done the basics, and we're going to plant out today. And um, we're very excited about that. Nice, so, nice, nice. Can I just ask you, AJ, conjure up. I just realized it as you said it, conjure up, to conjure up. Is yeah. that what it is? Right. Uh, yeah. That's, that was the name that I came up with a few years ago, yeah, which, uh, which I, I'm particularly fond of. Um, I think that was when I thought I was going to own the world because I thought it could be conjure up food, conjure up homewares, conjure up, but, you know, as uh, Larry pointed out to me, it's a bit of a marathon, so we'll just stick with the food for the moment. Yeah. <laughs> One step at a time. Absolutely. Yeah. But, yeah, no, it's, it's a great name, and I've trademarked it, and I'm, I, I just love it. Yeah, I, I, love, I love the name, too. So, Maggie, Unzueta, Senora. what are you doing after the show? I am going to find a Chinese restaurant <laughs> to serve margarita. And uh, actually, it's raining in San Diego. It never rains in San Diego. Rains in San Diego, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no, but the worst is that I live in Coronado and you have this bridge. Um, so, I'm, okay, when it rains, this bridge is like, it sways. It's just it's scary, right? So, I'm stuck on the island. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of, you know, meander around and. Hopefully someone has food and <laughs> yeah, <you're> gonna... <laughs> no, no. But actually, and what I'm really gonna, what I'm really gonna do is uh, work on some recipes and uh, get oh, some good, good, good. Get on my website. Have so. you got Have you got little red with you t this weekend, Maggie? I do. Yeah. I have my little red. He's uh, he's he's good. Maybe we'll bake well, well, something. Maybe maybe you can make some Shazwan chicken for him. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a good idea because this is yeah. amazing. Idea. I can't wait. To and and Marilyn, Marilyn, what, what are you what are you going to be doing oh, after the show? You no, know, we're going down to hear Cave down in Monterey. Right, going to Cave with George. So our is sort of booking with music. On last Monday, we saw David Crosby in uh, in oh, uh, wow. San Francisco oh, really? oh, wow. solo concert, and it was unbelievable. We were like feet away from him. You know, in oh, a small. That's awesome. Wow. Cool. wow. He's got a new Fantastic. album now, so I'm riding high on music and uh, looking forward nice. to hearing Ave and all that Nuevo Flamenco. Well, after, uh, after, watching this, after watching this great food, you will listen to some great music. Oh, yeah, they're having and a potluck dinner where we're going <laughs> Oh, to. wow, nice. So it nice. should be nice. outrageously good, nice. so what, a, what an evening. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you, thank you. Let me jump back to Aslan. Aslan, how's that chicken looking there, girl? It, it's looking good. Can you guys see? Woo! Yes. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah. 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 I've done. I've turned the heat right down. Um. So it, it takes on it takes on a darker color. Now you have an option with the vegetables. You know, if you like crunchy vegetables, add them five minutes towards the end. But I think that with some dishes, um, when it comes to capsicum, if you cook them for as long as the chicken or whatever meat you're using and they become really soft and you know almost sort of to the to that almost dissolving stage it actually makes the dish you know forget yeah, the vitamins for a change it actually makes the dish so that's why I put the other bit the capsicum then becomes a bit sweeter which is a nice contrast to yes the that's spicy. right yeah. that's right that's that's a very very good point yes it does yeah I, I guess. What would, what would you serve it with? Um, you can serve right. it with rice. I'm actually going to do yeah. that. I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to do that um, uh, when when it's done. Um, so basically, in a Chinese restaurant, ah, it's gone off. That's why. In a Chinese restaurant, if you ordered this, you'd order it with. Um, I mean, everyone has egg fried rice when you go to Chinese restaurants or or have takeout and stuff, mm -hmm. right? So. Yeah. Um, It'll go fine with egg fried rice or um, personally just plain steamed rice. And with vegetables, um, any form of Chinese vegetables, um, if you're just going to go light, so say the Sichuan chicken with some veggies, um, 
a, a, a simple standard Chinese vegetable would be broccoli, sauteed in a bit of um, sesame oil and garlic and ginger and light soy sauce, which is what I use actually, light soy sauce, not dark, and a bit of light soy sauce for the salt and that's it, lightly cooked broccoli. Um, okay. That same recipe will work with pak choy. Um, you guys know pak choy, right? The yep, Chinese yep. vegetable. Yeah, so serve it, serve it like that. So with the with the side vegetables, I mean, um, that's all you need: rice, the chicken, and if you want to go slightly heavier, do a Chinese style omelette. Um, uh, oh, nice! Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. So a couple couple of people just cut, came in and, and said hi. Um, Kristen Dries there. Kristen says yeah, hi. Kristen is in the house. So Aslan, you mentioned okay. that you can cook this with um, other types of meat as well, such as fish and shrimp. Yeah. Can you do something else outside of that range too? Yeah, you know, you could you could do it with beef as well. Beef is, uh, or, or, or I don't personally don't eat pork, so um, but it would go well with pork as well. Beef, the 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 stronger meats like beef would need slightly longer cooking time, and but you know, it's it actually is very delicious. Um, but it's a completely different dish from the blander chicken meat and the seafood. Um, beef is a completely different dish. It becomes deeper and richer, more towards your a dry stew um, as mm. opposed to what this might be a stir fry. Again, one more thing: um, if you, I, I added about a hundred mils, half a cup of water. Um, but you know, if you want it more. Uh, um, with more sauce, just add a little bit more. And when the chicken's done cooking, just taste for seasoning. If you think it needs a little bit more salt, add some soy sauce, or you can add a little bit of salt, you know, that's perfectly fine. We finish it off with just a drizzle of sesame oil, toasted sesame oil. Oh, nice. Uh, Delicious. And, and, um, and some chives, and some chives. And if you want it even hotter, some chili oil. This is homemade chili oil, Sichuan chili oil. Um, essentially, you've got a whole lot of, um, say, about 500 mils of um, vegetable oil in a in a pot with um, red chilies, dried chili flakes, um, some what did I put in here? Shrimps and some anchovies as well. And you just cook it right down for about an hour, and you get chili oil. I'm a sucker yes. for this one. I can't eat yes. without this. Here's what, Aslan. Aslan, um, I would love for you to put the uh, recipe for that chili oil um, yeah. on the on the event page at a later date. Yeah. So at least at least we could keep the conversation going there. Um, I, I I love I love that. I I've had it before um, down here at, at a couple of the Chinese restaurants we have here, and um, I always wanted to know what the heck they put in this damn thing. And uh, now I know. <laughs> yeah, okay. there, are different types. there are different types of chili oil as well because some you just have um, the chili and the oil and perhaps some onions. Um, but I like a deeper, uh, I like depth in it, uh, which yeah. is the kind of style. And so I add some dried shrimp and some, and sometimes some dried anchovies if I happen to have it in stock. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so that gives it lots of layers. If you could post that, Aslan, at a later date, of course, yeah, uh, it well, would be much appreciated. Um, for those of, for those of you who are looking for this recipe that Aslan is doing, where can we get it, Aslan? Linsfood.com. I have I, I have a menu tab, Singapore Malaysian food. It'll be under the Chinese section of that, and um, the link is on the event page, right? I believe. Linsfood.com. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that looks that looks great. Am I the only one who's hungry here? The sad part is she's going to finish all this, and I'm hoping that I'm going to eat some soon, but it's not. I'll have to go make it myself. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just, we just well, going to dish it up now. I think I'll probably dream of Sichuan chicken when I go back to sleep. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I find that cooking shows are the worst kind of tease because I'm just sitting here watching all this fantastic food being made and we're talking about it for so long and my mouth is watering here and I'm, I'm waiting yeah, for her to finish okay. but I'm not going to eat a single bite until I make it myself. I'm sure lots oh, of girls out there listening to you uh, are going, oh my god, he's talking about tease, he's the tease with that voice. 
Hey, I, I always told Andrew he has a future in radio or TV. You do. Oh, oh, period. You know what? Next time I come period. back on your show, Larry, I'll hopefully have an update for you on that. All right. Uh -huh. I, I have something to watch. <laughs> All right. Good. 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 <laughs> Okay, don't, so we just don't, don't let that voice go to waste. Oh, nice. That looks good, there, Aslan. Okay, we're just going to move that out of the way. And um, we've just got some chives. Uh, this is how I do my lazy herb cutting with a pair of scissors. You, you, mean, you, mean, you mean you don't have maids to cut your herbs for you? <laughs> no, man. <laughs> that's that's the 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 is that then I have to eat somebody else's food. All right, okay, I was just pulling it like that. Yeah, so there we go. Yes. So we've just... Michelle, we've, oh, we've just sprinkled Michelle, some Is that light good or not? That looks oh, amazing. No, you need, you need, oh, oh, yum, yum. Oh, you, you need to take a shot of that and post it up do to the what? event. Yeah, I shall do that. So we've got... So Michelle, Batson, Michelle Batson is in the house. Michelle Batson is in the house. She says, uh, looks good, Aslan. Hi, Michelle. But she needs smell vision <laughs> Don't we all, don't we all. Doesn't that come the next upgrade? <laughs> so, Aslan, I noticed that you have some white rice. I yeah. also noticed that you have some mixed vegetables as well on top for your chicken. Are there any sides... That also work well with it that you like to use. Yeah, that's 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 uh, what we were saying just now. Um, so okay, we've got. Um, I'll just leave that chicken there. Um, yeah. So plain steamed rice would go very very nicely, and a simple stir fry broccoli dish, fat choy dish, um, French beans, um, mm. stir fry with say some sesame oil, a bit of garlic, um, some ginger, some soy sauce, light soy sauce, and that's it. That's as a side. So there you go. That's oh, how wow. you would serve it. Amazing. Of course. Oh, that's okay. of oh course. yeah. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely that's amazing. So yeah. There we are. Yeah. I, I wish I was there. To, I was. <laughs> wish I was there to taste it. Um, who 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 you have around there going to taste this, Aslan? Uh, oh, my kids. If, if, I had to, camera. if, if they Let if they go under the table and taste it and just go, hmm, they might do it. But if they have to actually stand in front of the camera, no way, Jose. Not going to happen. Let me just actually tell you one more thing. I just remembered. Um, if you can't get hold of the hot bean sauce, um, an alternative would be this. Um, salted soybeans, again, should be available in Chinese supermarkets. And you just add chili to it because it is the same product oh. with chili without oh. chili. Oh, Push sorry. comes to shove, hoisin, hoisin sauce, which is a little bit more common, I believe, right? Yeah. But hoisin yeah. sauce mm -hmm. is also a little bit heavy on the sugar. So try and go for hoisin sauce that has as little tapioca in it, as little sugar in it as possible, but more on the soybean sauce. And if you can't get that, red miso. That red would be the other alternative. Oh, Oh, Usually, nice, if you're cooking, if you're having miso soup, it shouldn't be boiled above 85 degrees Celsius because it kills all the fermented goodness in there. But if you are going to use it as a substitute for this, then you know, forget that bit. So miso soup is miso red miso is another good alternative to get this dish if you can't find the hot bean sauce. Yeah, Thank Aslan, you. I, Thank just you. Have, I just have to say, you are. I love that you're such a wealth of information when it comes to this kind of food. Like I. I, you know, you've taught me so much. <laughs> I, I, I personally call Aslan the walking cuisine wiki. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, you know, guys, I, I tell you, it, I, I've been extremely lucky. I've been extremely lucky. When you guys watch my, my series HOA with Larry, Simply Singapore, you'll see Singaporeans and Malaysians as well, actually. We, we, we grow up with four cuisines because we have four official official races, da, da 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 That's one thing. But in my family alone, I've been so lucky. I am the product of generations of intermarriages and, and et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, mm. I, I can sit with the South Indian and talk about his idiopum and, and, and stuff, and I can talk about, um, and sit with an Italian and talk about their mother's cuisine. I'm, I'm just at home. It's, it's 
more, uh, uh, I'm lucky, that's all. So I have my yeah, hands. And, and I think that. with Singapore and Australia, you've got the same thing. You've got multiracial. And, and in Australia, I know we've got so many, uh, all Australian cuisine is basically fusion. It's wonderful. Sure, it's a, it's, it's a country It's a country of immigrants, isn't it? So Yeah, yeah. Mm. absolutely. Yeah. 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 Could, could you do me a favor? Could you hold up both of those uh, dishes up to the camera? Sure. No, at the same time. The yeah. Same time. Okay, yeah. And, and if I have an accident, it's all your fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Is that any good? Yeah, that's great. Perfect. Thanks. Perfect. Take, take, take some photos, Aslan. Take some photos. Oh, um, Andrew. <laughs> Kim Bowman says she loves listening to your voice. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kim. What I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, before we wrap up, Aslan, that looks absolutely divine. Thank you. Again, you, you knocked that out of the park, lady. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> any, any final words where, where we can catch you... Uh, Asland, yeah. um, um, and then I'll come to Maggie. Yeah, go ahead. My, my, my blog is linsfood.com. That really is a personal, just a personal blog. Um, I run a show now with Larry called Simply Singapore. At the moment, we're on once a month. The next one is on the 11th of May. But you will also find me on the Foodies Plus community. Um, I am officially a communications manager on there. And I am also the founder of the Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia food, Indonesian food community. So you will find our ethnic foods in that second second group, as well as in the Foodies Plus. That's where you'll find more always. Sweet, spicy, and sexy. Sweet, spicy, and sexy. I love it. <laughs> yeah. And, and Conjure Up, where can we uh, get some of your Conjure Up dishes or food or food? Um, well, we've got lots and lots of recipes. I'm, I'm quite heavily on Conjure Up Food on Facebook or ConjureUp.com. Oh, um, you just said the F word. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I did wonder about that. Um, no, ConjureUp.com. We're always um, uploading things there. And, you know, we're, we're basically a startup, so any support we can get would be great. And, and I'm loving Google Plus, absolutely loving it. Great, great, great. Uh, and Maggie, where can we get uh, or see some of your creations? Uh, my food blog in mamamaggieskitchen.com, that's, uh, that's me. Uh, and, of course, I've got the cooking shows that I'm doing with you. Uh, I have a bilingual, the bilingual show. I think our next one, I, I want to announce it because I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, in May. it's early May. It's, it's in May. It's happened. Just, uh, just look for the yeah. event page. I think it's a fourth of me, right, Dazlin? <laughs> yes, yes. It is. Oh, 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 we're doing we're doing a double bill again then, because Footy's yes. got one as well. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We're, we're doing it. Yeah, it's going to be on the fourth of May, uh, Maggie. It's, yeah, this is, this is yeah. Just, oh, fourth of May. It's close yeah, to Cinco yeah, de Mayo. Close to Cinco de Mayo. Close to Cinco de Mayo. Close to Cinco de Mayo. That's why it's the fourth of May. Yeah. Yeah, it's the cuatro de Mayo. <laughs> So I would I would like to thank you, Maggie. I'd like to thank Andrew for coming on. Of course, conjure up. AJ, Pleasure. you were great. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Jordan, Jordan got, no problem. Larry, you we've, got, we've got a food stories tomorrow. You've yeah, got well, a food story. Yeah, I will, I will, I will come to that. But thanks for reminding me, though, Aslan, because I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> George, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Always to have you in the hangout. Marilyn, always a pleasure, my darling. And of course, Maggie Unzweta, my Latina <laughs> friend, amiga. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, by the way. Um, can, I, can I just say quickly, it's so sure. nice to meet you all in person. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the power of Google Plus, we connected. <laughs> Worldwide. <laughs> yeah, and uh, well, th this is Larry Finalier. Join me tomorrow for my food stories where we will be featuring Gail Pasternak and her husband, Alan, and they'll be doing uh, a lamb green chili. And yes, mm, lamb green chili. That sounds very tasty. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be fun. Mm. And it's going to be at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, that's 1 p.m. 
Pacific and 3 p.m. Central. 9 p.m. GMT. GMT. Oh, I don't want to forget about you, Aslan. And I think about 6 a.m. How can we Pacific. forget about Aslan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't forget about that. Yeah, 6, 6 a.m. Uh, Monday in Australian time. So, uh, again, this was a special presentation in support of uh, Champion for Kids, Razor Fest, which is happening live right now in uh, uh, Nebraska. Uh, not, I, keep, I was thinking Nebraska, Arkansas, Arkansas yeah. Razorback, Razorback Stadium. Um, hence the red that I'm wearing, and hence Aslin's red she's wearing. So we want to give a big shout out to Jim Shankle who joined us into the hangout, um, and the wonderful work that everyone down there are doing for the children. So on. The, and oh, I, I need to, to do thanks to we, we gotta give shout outs to those folks out in the um in the event stream. Kristen, Carmen, Kim, Kim, Kim Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't uh, see uh, the comments. Show. I didn't see the comments, so I. Annabelle, didn't. Annabelle. Um, yes. Yeah, Michelle, Michelle Batson from Trinidad. She she's a, yes, she lives right. in Tobago actually. Yeah. Yeah. And well, if, anyway. we, if, we've, if we've forgotten anybody, it's not my fault, it's Larry's fault. <laughs> it's Larry's fault. It's always Larry's fault. <laughs> Hashtag, Hashtag blame it on Larry. 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 Hash